Okay, so I figured I'd give you an early look at this plant. I'm kind of documenting this plant a little bit as it goes along. And this is an unusual variety of pepper, though it's recently been declassified as a capsaicin species. It's no longer considered a capsaicin species. The name of this plant is called Wild Japanese Tubo Capsaicin Anomalum. So that's what it's called. It, I think at one time it was considered just to be capsaicin anomalum. It was like in its own species, but again, it was declassified or it was de, uh, you know, delisted as a capsaicin variety. And so now it is whatever it is, an anomalum or a, cap, a tubo capsaicin, which is not exactly a capsaicin. But I tend to disagree with that opinion because from... What I can see and what I've researched on this plant, I do believe that it is a capsaicin variety, but that's my opinion. I'm not the botanist who makes these changes in the world of botany, but I do believe it is a capsaicin variety. So anyway, here's a look at the leaf. Okay, that's what the leaf looks like. You can see the plant is uh it's only a, it's only a little tall it's it this plant's been growing since oh gosh i don't know at least november or something like that and it pretty much stayed as a rosette there was no stem here it was just like a rosette where the plant was just kind of sitting there and that generally pepper plants don't do that so that is a little strange and it stayed like a rosette pretty much the whole winter. Came up a little bit, you know, from the stem, but it pretty much stayed small. And uh, now it's, since I brought it out into the greenhouse, it is starting to bolt upwards. It is coming on an upwards direction quite quickly. There are some smaller stems starting to pop up down here. As you can see, they're starting to come up. So it, this, I'm, getting, I'm under the impression that this is going to be a very large plant. So I may end up planting this outdoors, in, out in the, uh, the garden in the back. Or I might put it in a large pot like this one here. So I, I might put it in that large pot and just we'll see what we can do. I, I can't bring that pot in my house, obviously, because it's a little too big and I can't know where to keep anything like that. But this is going to be an interesting plant to see uh, develop and produce fruit. Hopefully it'll produce fruit this year. Usually up here where I live, not many of these varieties of peppers produce fruit their first year. I usually have to winter them over to get them the fruit the following year, which is a pain in the neck. But we have a very short growing season up here in the Appalachian Mountains, which is generally a zone 5B. And because of that reason, uh, you have to grow things that produce fruit rather quickly rather than what we're going through up here. So if this is long term, I may have to dig it out and repot it or something. But I do want to get this thing to fruit. Uh, the seeds are quite different than regular pepper seeds. They don't quite look like uh, capsaicin seeds. The flowers are very beautiful looking. They kind of don't look like capsaicin flowers, but then again, they do. So they're kind of in between the capsaicin and something else. They're very strange looking uh, plant. Now, you could see the leaves really don't look anything like a pepper leaf here. But I've seen images of the plant when it's fully developed and the leaves start to look more like this or should i say you know like a pepper leaf you, you know you can see what a pepper leaf looks like this is very um striated and it's very puffy at the veins it's like it it it, it sort of uh embosses from the leaf around the veins area so it's kind of strange like that here's the bottom of the leaf and it's just strange. I mean, even the development of the stem is kind of strange. There's no fur or anything on the stem. Just a very strange and oddball plant. It's going to be very fascinating to see this thing develop and grow. Again, here's, here's a nice look at the leaf. Try to get you a nice close-up pattern of the leaf. And I'll give you a top view of the plant 
And so we got a good head start on this plant because this, like I said, it stayed like a rosette for about six months or five months or somewhere around there. I think I grew, I started them from seed. They started up, they dampened off and died and I had to restart the seed. So I lost like a month and a half or two months. So this plant is like maybe four months old. Actually, here's the date right on here. Uh, 1229 is when I had to, where I finally got it to grow and repot it. And I lost the first couple because of damping off. So that's it. That's what it looks like. Closer look at the stem. Look at the top. I'll post some images of this plant on my uh, community tab. And then I'll upload the video to it. Kind of get you guys prepared for such a bizarre plant. But we will grow it out, and we will see what it does. Again, there's the bottom. Now, I do got to look for aphids because I am getting aphids on here. So I have been cleaning off a little bits of aphids that are suddenly popping up out of nowhere. But, yeah, this plant is doing really, really good. It's very healthy. It, it was pretty much healthy all the way through the winter. Had no, it, w it wasn't getting any of this... Uh, edema effect that I was getting on some of these plants you know like the edema was the bubbling on the bottom of the leaves and the crinkling of the leaves that's all due to poor circulation and too much water whereas this plant wasn't affected by that at all this plant just it's beautiful right from day one I mean look at that healthy leaf on it it's just a gorgeous looking leaf veins are green on the bottom too very beautiful plant so once we get to uh, a point where the plant gets uh, some flowers and some fruits on it, we'll do a, a pod review on it and we'll, we will taste test this plant. Uh, we'll, we'll taste test the fruit on it anyway. And uh, that's what we'll do. All right, so that's it. Like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one. Okay, so I figured I'd give you a later season update on the tubocapsaicin anomalum wild Japanese pepper. I know some of you folks out there are trying to grow this for yourself, and you kind of want to see what to expect and what's going on. Well, I can share with you what's going on on my end, so maybe that'll help you ease your mind a little bit as to, you know, what's going on with your plant. Is it going to grow, not going to grow? So here we are, and as you can see, this plant is... It's really starting to spread out sideways more than upwards, so it's really starting to widen out more than anything. I didn't expect that. I thought it would grow tall like every other plant, but instead this thing wants to grow somewhat short and wide, more like a bush. And it's really taken up a lot of space on the corner. I moved this plant specifically to the corner of this bed on purpose because I figured it might grow a little wide, and I don't want it to grow really tall and take up the whole center of my peppers this year so I figured let's move it to the end and that was a very good move so let me show you some of the flowers what's going on down here now you can see this thing is literally flowering absolutely like crazy not every flower is taken though it's like one out of ten seem to be taking and are starting to become fruit so there are some fruits on here there's one there there's one back there there's another one here so there, there are fruits are starting to come out and they are starting to form and grow. Here's a look at the flower. It's a beautiful yellow orange type of flower. Another one, give you another look. Beautiful, gorgeous looking little flower. Now I've seen different colors of flowers for these plants, so there might be a couple different species of this plant. But this is the flower type that's coming off of my plant. So you might have one that might actually have a different flower. Here's one where the flower is not going to take. I just yank them off. You can see it's yellow on the stem. I just pull them off. Because if not, they hang there and they start rotting. If I see them, I, I yank them. I don't go crazy looking for them. But I just get them off of the plant. Here's something here. This one's probably going to be a nice big flower. A lot of flowers. This whole thing has got flowers all the way around it the plant 
has pushed its way back this way to some degree, and it's pushed its back its way back over to here. So now it's starting to grow in between a lot of my other pepper plants, which is all right, I guess. I mean, my other it's forcing my other pepper plants to kind of go upwards, and that's good. I want to get that canopy on these pepper plants up and out of the way a little bit, so this thing can grow as wide and short and whatever it wants to do. But one of the other problems I'm having so far with this plant are the insects really like this thing. It has a funny kind of a, it has a real funny odor to it. It smells like a certain kind of a plant, which I can't specifically name off the top of my head. But it does got a certain kind of an odor, sort of pungent type of an odor to the leaf. And it smells very similar to another plant. I just can't think of it. It's like a weed, like the weeds. Maybe poke weed if you rub the leaf and you smell it. Like that kind of a plant. It has a weird kind of a pungency smell to it. And that really does attract the insects. Uh, the other thing I noticed is as this plant gets bigger, the lower leaves like to turn yellow and drop off. But that could also be due to the, you know, as the season, as we get past the summer equinox, which is the peak of your summer daylight time. As you start to head off into the fall months, you're getting less and less sunlight. So seeing leaves on your lower level of your plants, of all your pepper plants or all your plants in general, are going to start turning yellow and dropping off because they're just not getting the, the full sunlight. It's already starting to decrease. And that does affect some of the leaf growth you know, on, on, the, on the lower parts of the plant. They will turn yellow and drop. It's not a defi deficiency or anything like that. It's just that the plant is getting ready for fall. It's already beginning its fall cycle. But other than that, it's just, uh, it's doing good. I'm not sure if I'm going to bring this in for the winter. I guess I'll try to bring it in. Hopefully I get enough fruit so I can just start it from seed again. But hopefully I can get enough fruit off it and not bring it in. But what I'll try and do is is cut it down low, really low, just like leave one or two stems on it and just kind of cut all this bushy stuff away and bring it in that way. Will it live? I don't know. We'll find out, though. I'll bring it in for the winter, and then I'll give you, like, a final indoor winter update if it lives or dies. I'm not sure, you know, how to handle that, but we'll see how it goes. We'll have to just keep an eye on it and, you know, just uh, keep it growing if possible. All right, so what I'll do in the end is I'll take all my... Capsace, my tubo capsaicin anomalum wild Japanese peppers and I'll create one playlist and I'll connect them all together in that one playlist and or or maybe both I'll make this into one video with all these connected from beginning to end and then put it add that to the playlist as well so you got everything if you just want to watch one video or you got the whole playlist you could save it whatever you want to do so we'll work on that during the winter months but uh, that's it for now and if you have any experience with this plant, how you grew it, share your experience. Let other people uh, know what's going on with you and how is it growing for you. Does it look the same or you got different color flowers or, you know, what's going on on your end? And uh, share that so everybody else can uh, see that as well as me. I'd like to know uh, what you got going as well. All right. So don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And I will see you on the next one. Take care.
Oh, 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 oh,